PGA Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Genesis Scottish Open is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. It's been great to have your company here. And Rich, we're into the final round now. What's our next player dealing with as they get it underway? Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead. They've been sleeping on it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. Almost an uncomfortable situation at times, but they are playing well, so they have that confidence going into the final round. But this is going to be a tough afternoon ahead. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, he's got around 125 here. That's a pretty handy shot. Wow, what a shot. Okay, that'll work. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? This is a 12-footer here. Little birdie look in here. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. Just the start they were looking for, Luke. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Strong par four here, just under 500 yards. There's a bunker down the left-hand side you must avoid if you want a clear opening for your second shot. Narrow fairway up there, a good tee shot's a must. That a boy, good shot. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. A wonderful shot, and a chance for Booty here at the second. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. That's a good putt to make that one. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He sits in first position. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Not quite sure about the strike on that one. This could be heading towards the rough. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, I thought that one was going in. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And a par four awaits at this next hole. That's some good golf right there. Well, I like the way this person's playing. Birdie's all over that scorecard. I tell you what, they're set up quite nicely through the first opening holes. Birdie's galore. 
That was a beauty. Right on four feet. Should make this one. And that's their fourth booty of the day. This player is putting for fun. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Most players, Luke, should go for this short par four, but watch out for the green because this green has got all kinds of danger on it. Twist, turns, bobs, weaves, ducks, it's got it all. Second shot here on the fifth. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Love watching this player around the greens. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? And hitting yet another green here in regulation. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. He's currently sitting in first place. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. That is absolutely spot on. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 195 yards. Going with the six iron here. They've decided to club up. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Mm, putting for a birdie. A birdie with big wings. Ooh. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Oh, what a stroke. Yes, they've made it. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. We've reached the eighth hole. Playing from 110 yards out. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Yeah, that one's looking good. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. A great shot here at the eighth and a chance for birdie. Mm, 
Good chance this one, right on six feet. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Oh, what a performance, eight birdies on the card. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Yep, that shot's safely on the green. This punt is about 17 feet long. Just didn't drop. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Uh, absolutely. You dream of being in this position. Ahead uh, by a bunch with just a few holes to go sit back relax and enjoy the view second shot here at the 10th Going with the hybrid. This one headed left in a hurry. Getting ready to play their third. Didn't that look good for a long time? What an opportunity to make a birdie. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. It's looking solid. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. Welcome to this hole, that's a par four. Good looking shot this. From around 180 yards out. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This one will run uphill. This one's tracking. Okay, steady now. A par putter waits. Job done. Let's head to the next. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. You back uphill just a little bit. What really makes this hole difficult, Luke, though, is when the wind is coming directly in the player's face. When that happens, ooh, watch out. This hole is a doozy. This one is chewing fiber. Oh, that one just missed the hole. What a quality shot that was. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. 
And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Well, 13th, it's unlucky for some, Rich. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. That was wonderfully done. Lining up the birdie putt here. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And now that finds him in first place. Time to play one of the one-shotters. Opting for the 9-iron. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Yeah, that one will play. Henny, what's the player facing here? Setting up here from about 155. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. That was special. There's part of about six feet coming up. This is what they have left for birdie here. Well, that'll play. And nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. Oh, no better feeling than to finish the round off with a bunch of birdies. Let's see if they can keep up for the next couple of holes. Oh, tidy looking shot, that. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. This one started out on a good line. Oh, super putt that. What an eagle. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Teeing off here on the 17th hole. This is an amphitheater-style green. 
all sides kind of work back towards the green. There is a little front left section, though, when they put the flag stick over there, you have a really good opportunity to hit it in there close. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. A chance for Booty if this goes down. He sits in first position. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. From around 170 yards here. And choosing the eight iron here. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. Looks good off the blunt. And that's a big time victory at exactly the right time. Well done on capturing the Scottish Open. And what a victory it was around this Renaissance Club here in East Lothian, Scotland. An impressive victory on a challenging week indeed. Well, Rich, after that hot start,